to my yet another video and this video is going to be slightly different one because in this video i will be showing you that how to build your own customized chatbot using machine learning techniques and for the demo i, have, I am going to use this open source kaggle dataset uh, called as chatbot intent recognition dataset which is pretty popular if you are beginner or maybe intermediary and you want to know how to build your own chatbots using machine learning techniques so this is the go-to place for you and uh, in this demo, is basically I am going to use the deep learning technique. That meaning, I will be I have built a deep learning model to, which is going to be used as a chatbot. And separately, to have machine learning techniques, you can apply your machine learning technique using the vectorizations plus the cosine similarity matrix, so that you can create your very simple intent-based chatbot using machine learning as well. But I am going to show you how to use PyTorch as your deep learning framework, and you are going how to build a deep learning model. And if I just show you about the like uh, the data set related to the dataset schema and all because right now you can see i have downloaded this dataset into my local directory with the name of intent.json and in this json file this is is basically your intent uh, set of intents and what will be the pattern uh, if a human is asking related to any question and what will be the predicted or possible uh, replies from a chatbot and this json file contains main four key value pairs the top important pillars are basically the intent this key the text which is nothing but the pattern how user type their query and responses meaning what chatbot is going to respond based on the input he has your chatbot has from the user and okay and this project is basically like a uh, build on top of the pytorch uh, framework and in pytorch uh, basically if i show you the intent.py so this is nothing but a dummy class uh, like the interface of the intent json file so what are the key attributes so from this json file i have from this json file basically as i told you the intent text and responses these are the um, like basic pillar for your data set so how i have done it basically i have created a dummy class an interface kind of which is known as a in intent model and it has four class parameter or uh, the class attribute uh, intent text and responses from this in this main file if i show you uh, pretty simple and pretty basic coding to how to read a json file in python so this is basically load the intent file i am reading the json file from there and creating the dictionary from the json to uh, like python dictionary object so data is basically a list of <coughs> the uh, list of intent model okay and now from there i need to create my own data set for used in uh, used for training purposes and this create data set function this ability method basically responsible for creating the pandas data frame and in this pandas data frame as you can see i am creating the dfx the data frame object with two column intents and tags the corresponding intents and the tags and from there onwards okay uh, from there onwards what i am doing so in this method right now we are using like pretty simple pretty basics uh the nltk libraries okay the natural language processing toolkit library available in the python ecosystem for doing the like token streaming limitization and the cleaning process for your NLTK for, for your text data so all those necessary cleaning process uh like tokenization process i am using the nltk <coughs> library and from there after we created the dfx data frame what we are doing because as you can see in this intent.json file we are having uh, in total how many intent 23 intent so greeting is one of the one and after that we are having the greeting response and OTC greeting for example gossip is the, uh, one of the greeting out of 23 intents we are having so what i am doing right now is basically i am doing the label encoder applying the label encoder thing to encode the tag label okay the intents this is the basic like basic coding for splitting the data preparing for your preparing your data set for uh, stratified cross validation and for that i am using the stratified kfold strategy available in scikit-learn and i am doing the five stratified five stratified kfold okay after that here you can see i am using a tokenizer tokenizer meaning which cuts your sentences into chunks of word and that word is further processed and becomes a token for your data set okay and this token class is again customized like uh, you can create you can use any uh, like tokenizer available for example hugging face has lots of uh, like famous tokenizers uh, in it and other than that you can create your own custom tokenizer class and this tokenizer class is like uh, is very simple if you just know how the nlp works so you can create your own basic tokenizer functions and you can apply the various techniques to your tokenizers as well for example in this tokenizer i am having this in total if i show you um, okay these are the basic method the normalized string tokenize one hot encode and uh, the build vocabulary for method okay what i am doing is basically when you pass your text in the constructor of this tokenizer class 
what i am doing i am just instantiating one limitizer object again this is a limitizer uh, is one of the nlp concept i hope you can know about it already knew otherwise you can google it and read for this uh, to get the fair bit of understanding to know how the nlp works okay and this i am using limitizer okay and after that i am creating my vocabulary set and then word to index and the reverse dictionary mapping which is nothing but index to word after that i am preparing my vocabulary set with the additional token which is nothing but the pad index separation index cls and unknown token okay so these are the like available in the bar tokenizer and well they use some kind of additional tokens to signify or to just to make sure that you are not missing anything and you are doing the tokenization process in a better way so similarly i have introduced these tokens in my vocabulary set this keywords in my discussion set and pretty normal the tokenizer tokenized thing is very simple this is the like rewritten function and after that the normalization string is nothing but just rejects replacement uh, for just to clean your data and the tokenized thing this is the tokenize so whenever you call tokenizer dot tokenize and you pass any text it will automatically tokenize your text and give you in return it will give you a python dictionary which contains the text the tokenized text and the token type id token type id is basically the tokenized version of your input text right so after that let's see what we are i am doing so i am creating a data set up, up and in this data set object like intent data set what i am passing in the constructor the parameters are intents i am passing the dfx intents tags and the tokenizer and let's see what this data set class has again this is related to pytorch in pytorch whenever you are going to build any model you need to create your custom data set for this okay and these are the pretty basic ones uh, and nothing fancy and how this data set work data set class work basically you pass your tokenizer this could be anything and when you pass your tokenizer this data set class tries to tokenize the data or the intents uh, like data and uh, like in this example i have the intents to be like tokenized right so it tokenize that after tokenization process is written this to like key value pair in the dictionary object token type id and the tag okay and post that what i am doing i am i have built one intent rnn model and in this rnn model what the parameters i am which are the parameters i am passing now in embedding so rnn pay we need to create our own word to vector model word to vectorizer like for that i am using in embedding which is like how many dimension of embedding uh, like how many words i am having in my vocabulary set this is nothing but this one after that the embedding dimension so each word in in a vector space will be will be like uh, will be having 512 values in a to represent the word context and that's that that 512 values that corresponding values will create the context of a word of any word okay and the padding index in my use case i am using one two three index as my padding index 123th index 123rd index as a padding index was that in hidden layers three hidden layers in the hidden layer neuron i am using 512 and these are the classes i need to classify so this is purely a classification problem let's see the rnn model right now so this is the pretty cool implementation pretty easy implementation for a beginner level model you can anyhow you can create your very complex model out of it you can create the sequence to sequence model bidirectional lstm anything you can uh, you could build but the idea is pretty simple this is the very simple pytorch um, like pytorch implementation of creating your cast your deep learning model you need to just inherit the nn module class from the pytorch and these are the layers embedding layer then lstm layer one unit of lstm layer with the dimension and the vocabulary set in uh, input size this is my dense layer after that i am i am having one classification layer classifier okay and this is the forward block which actually helps the network to uh, recalibrate the weights and biases for each network and this is the classifier flyer okay and this is the forward implementation after that uh, okay i am training my model for 10 epochs then for the optimizer i am using adam optimizer with the learning rate of 39 which is the like golden learning rate for adam so if you this is the hyper, hyper parameter but in general in theoretically and there are the very so many research paper which tells that if you use three four for your adam optimizer it is a based learning rate good learning rate okay now for criterion this is the loss function for this loss function i am using cross entropy loss because i am having a multi-class classification problem okay and this is my like training block so for this many epochs, for 10 epochs, the train loop, then the evolution loop with this uh, batch size, this is the batch size, and the perform prediction, this function will run for 10 epochs. And again, this engine.py, which is nothing but my custom implementation for PyTorch training block. Okay. This is my custom implementation for this custom PyTorch training block. Very simple, you can find it is in my data as well. <clears throat> and after that, I am training my model. So let's see our model in action. When I hit run, 
it will start the training process and see this what i am saying this, this is the tokenizer block and this is your data set so if your input is basically it was nice talking to you good talk as your text this is going to be a tokenized in this format this is a tokenized version so each word that i said in the beginning as well your sentence will be chunked into the words and that words is going to be the input for your data set and after that as i am using the padding index so it pad my index to the 20 character like 20 length long after that this is your token type id this is nothing but your tokenized version of your text okay and post that so see first at the training epoch zero i am using having the loss function as this accuracy is zero and as for the training increases see at for training epoch four the batch for 15 by 15 the loss is pretty decent 0 0.6 and the score improved to 1.0 okay it is touching the 100 percent as well and similarly at that stage the validation is this say the validation validation batch out one out of four this is also validation is all pretty much working well as well okay so this is the beauty of your deep learning model now here you can see it is waiting for the input let's see hola how are you see right now my input text is this and my model is able to get the intent what i am trying to say is basically able to identify this is nothing but the predicted intent is courtesy greeting okay courtesy greeting uh, i guess that's how it pronounced and what with the probability that how my model is sure about how much confident that this is a courtesy written it is nothing but 99 percent uh like sure about that this sentence is related to a courtesy written and what is the bot response responded to my query basically hi good uh good thank you thank you uh please tell me uh, tell me your genesis user okay so it uh, it gave it it told his name okay for this bot name for example no i want your real name please no okay real name query bot response say what is able to able to understand that query no i want your real name please it identifies that i am asking uh, the bot's real name with the probability bot response at 98 percent sure and it tells his name told his name that his name is genesis okay and for example uh let's say if i ask good can i get your phone number and here see the bot probability is pretty low right now probability is pretty less only 20 percent here now the bot corresponding as bot is not able to guess the intent now the bot replied okay hi what i can do you for you okay and for example let's say now i can give give haha nice nice you do not understand <laughs> see right now it able to guess what i am saying right okay uh, let's say make me laugh see it able to under, uh, understand that i am asking about uh for a joke and the probability of the confidence level of my bot is basically 89 percent zero now it gives me uh, responded me with a joke okay and that how it works let's say i can say good one bro like thanks and it's your my pleasure okay now i can like say uh goodbye what is a goodbye not a problem have a nice day bye okay have a nice day now quit so that's it and this whole source code you can also find it in the kaggle data set here if you go in the code section this is my uh, solution for this chatbot intent based chatbots pytorch token embeddings with rna so this is the overall thing the overall uh, what i have showed you the total implementation of this chatbot here and how i have created this model and all so you can look for like you can refer this notebook if you want to check out and this is my like github you can find the github link as well over here also uh, with the set is data science ml here you can find the uh, chatbot okay so here i have uploaded the code and if you want to connect with me on linkedin so this is my linkedin id linkedin.in slash i india then so now this is my linkedin id as well you can also reach out to me in linkedin as well if you want to connect with me and that's all i have for you and thanks for watching bye see you next time